Wednesday night. It's preview night. <laughs> People the are most <laughs> narrowly dodging cameras. We exactly. know that Comic Con has started. We are in everybody's way already, and it's going to be first night. So. I think that while we don't have a thousand people in every square foot, we'll go around and try and get you some footage of uh, some of the exhibits that were being put up early. Absolutely. We're going to go back to the booths. We're going to see all the new things they put up while we were getting ready for this great occasion. We're going to see all the people who are coming into the building and we might have some interviews for you in the Yeah, is there something going on at 7? Supposedly. Alright, we'll be back later and see. Thank you. Hey, this is Andrew with TFAW.com, Thanks from Another World. We're here live at Preview Night in front of what no doubt is going to be one of the highlights. We've got the full scale replica of Bumblebee here, and over my side, which I'll show you in a minute, we've also got the custom camera. Things are really starting to get kicking. It looks like the excitement levels here is very high, so let's go around and start checking out some of the new exhibits. We're here right now in the middle of the floor as Preview Night gets into full swing. As you can see, we got everything from R2-D2 replicas rolling around the floor to something that's sure to be a hit. Here we are at the Marvel booth, and you can see they're going all out for their promotion of Iron Man. The suits of armor ranging the gamut from the Mark I. On through the Mark IV, and you can tell just by the sheer amount of people getting in front of it, this is definitely going to be hot. Tune in, we get better coverage, and we'll try and stay on top of the announcements for this. And remember, whether you're here because you love Marvel or any of the hundreds of other people displaying, whatever you're into, we got just the thing for your collection. As always, the Sideshow booth is sure to be a major focus for attendees here. Whether you love Star Wars or just a huge fan of high-quality, high-end collectibles, Sideshow delivers. Launching a new campaign this year, as well as several new models including these fantastic Scout Troopers and Yoda dispatching a clone trooper, amongst a great deal of others which we'll cover, Sideshow is definitely going to be making news. Alrighty, the bell has rung and preview night has begun. As you can see, there are thousands of people run, walking, not running, they've been instructed not to run, to get all of the uh, SDCC exclusive products, period covers, toys, giveaways that they can possibly handle. Uh, it's a little more dangerous than running with a bulls and pump and one of my earliest memories is watching Linda Carter on TV as Wonder Woman. I still have a Wonder Woman costume that I made in college that I will bring out every so often if it still fits. Ow! So, seeing all these freaking Wonder Woman shirts makes me very tempted to pull out the old company credit card and do some research. But uh, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to uh, fund it myself. But as you can see, there's an entire wall of t shirts here. All of your favorite uh, comic book characters. Seems like retro is definitely the way to go, which I also prefer. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have to get at least one or two. Or maybe if I spin around fast enough, one will magically appear. <laughs> All right, we're sitting here in front of the line at the DC booth, and as you can tell, people are definitely interested in picking up the freebies. This is pretty much going to be the case every year. I assume that we're going to be fighting our way to get through to everything, but with Blackest Night being such a hot property, it's pretty clear that uh, the free Blackest Night rings that are being handed out are going quick. So we'll come back here when it isn't surrounded by a throng of rabid DC fans and uh, move on for now. All right, guys and gals, we knew a lot of you were going to want to check out the Suicide Gals, but hell, the Suicide Girls aren't here. So we'll definitely be back over the course of the rest of the week because I want to do this interview. Let's make it happen. Here's the Marvel booth on preview night. Uh, you, I don't know if you can see in the background, but there are lights. Iron Man's various suits behind me. And, uh, here. I think they're going to have a signing later today for C.B. Sabulski, Christina Strain, and Mark Brooks. And uh, yeah, it looks like a lot of us here. We'll have to come back a little later and see how it turned out. You too can get your picture taken with Punk from Another Galaxy. 
Kate Skywalker. As you can see, Kate is modeling the finest in um, leather breastplates and uh, quilted pants. And he loves comics too, ladies. What's not to like about that? All right, we're standing right here in front of Conan the Barbarian. He modeled after the Marvel Warren and uh, the Conan by Boring Adventures video game. As all of you know, I am the biggest freaking Conan fan in the world. And I'm thinking right now that I can probably take these geeks and make out of here with this armor before anybody can catch me. So, if it disappears, I had nothing to do with it, alright? Nothing to do with it. You got my back? It's Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. Look at them. They're cousins. Identical cousins. Oh, who knows? But, you know, the G.I. Joe movie's coming up. We might have some mixed feelings about, you know, how it's going to be. I'm not such a big fan of the tight black costumes. I'm a fan of the old school, colorful cartoon costumes. But there certainly seems to be a lot of fun kids here. I've got a lot of fun memories of the G.I. Joe figures my brother and I. So... Stay tuned, we'll see if there's any new announcements about the movie. Alright, I'm not going to pretend like I'm the biggest fan in the world of My Little Pony, but I'll tell you what, this pony wants to rule the world and so do I, and so I think that we can, you know, get in cahoots. These are pretty sweet, they've definitely stepped it up and gone into the designer vinyl realm. You can see that they've really kind of modernized and kept in touch with uh, what's developing. I hate to admit it, but I kind of want to take one home. Transformers 2 Mania is in full swing, and here the star of the show is not Mayor Fox, it's Bumblebee. Back here there is a huge crowd of people. They have both the car and the transform Bumblebee behind me. You can see they almost look, um, well the car is definitely life-size, but the um, robot looks like it could be the real life-size Bumblebee. So we're going to sneak back in here later and see if he moves. I'm going to bring a feather. You can't be... No, no, there is no 23 hours. Oh, I want to go like that direction. Right? 